uh, certainly the cold. That was, I think, the biggest thing of today was the snow was a surprise enough. The, the big dramatic change from the temperatures from 80 down to the low 30s and upper 20s, that's a huge swing. It's just as soon as you get used to that warm air, that cold air comes back, and it's hard to take, but it's only temporary, folks. In fact, it already feels better. It does feel better, Howard. It I does. Mean, Howard wore his turtleneck today, per my advice. 46, 34% humidity, a west wind at 11, gusting at 8 to 18. So we've got some wind chill issues tonight, 29.78 and a mostly clear sky. The wind making it feel like it's down around 32 or a little bit less. And that big swing from yesterday's high of 71, the high of 50 left over from midnight during the day today, or at least while it was snowing, temperatures were near or even below freezing. And then by late this afternoon, we jumped back up into the middle 40s, 59, 42 the normals, 1.2 inches of snow in Central Park. And back in 1991, on this, day, on this date, it was 86. So this is still that time of year, folks, big swings. And 47 now uh, at uh, LaGuardia Airport, White Plains at 39, 39 at Poughkeepsie. The wind is mixing things up quite a bit with respect uh, to the air around us. So temperatures are fairly uniform, and wind chills are down near or below freezing, even down as low as 25 in Newark and at White Plains and Bridgeport at 27. A storm system, and that's the cloud cover from earlier with the snow lifted up to the north, and now skies have nicely cleared out across New Jersey and over Long Island, and the radar also very, very quiet. And our jet stream pattern, if we had this in January, folks, that's typical. You have it in April, it's a problem because you'd like things to warm up, and unfortunately with this jet stream coming down from western Canada and locked into the position for much, much of this week, cold, cold, cold cold and it doesn't stop so uh, we'll just see with respect to disturbances one will be swinging by tomorrow night and on Tuesday and it's not impossible that we could see a few wet snowflakes mixed in although I don't think it's going to be to the extreme of what we saw today and then later this week we'll be watching a disturbance in the southeast although most of the computer models want to lock that away down there so we'll see nice and clear there's the storm to the north and it's long gone this uh, weather front will be dying out and then we'll be watching a disturbance coming out of the Rockies, moving across Missouri and beyond, and it's this one that could bring precipitation here Monday night and on Tuesday. Forecast-wise, for tonight, skies have cleared out 31 to 36 by morning with a gusty wind. Tomorrow, sunshine will give way to arriving clouds, 53 to 58. Not impossible. Somebody could see 60 tomorrow. And then Tuesday, rain or maybe even a little bit of wet snow again, followed by a leftover shower on Wednesday, and then we should dry out and warm up a little bit but back to normal. Nothing like the 80 degree temperatures or near 80 degree temperatures we had yesterday. yesterday. That's too bad. I know it is sad. We want that. I know. We'll, we'll take 58 in sun, Joe. Which will feel a lot better than today. All right. And we'll also take Sean Kimmerling coming up next with the sports. Starting with the story of deja vu 